Good morning students, today we are going to introduce novel, animal form, chapter 1. First, I'm going to give you a summary of this uh, chapter. Mr. Jones, who bought the owner of Manor Farm, was always drunk. As soon as he wanted to sleep, there was a movement on the farm because word had gone round during the day that all the major had a dream and he wanted to communicate it to the other animals. So all the animals went to the barn to listen to old major. Old major was a 12-year-old pig and he was respected by all the animals on Manor Farm. Then the animals came. The two cart horses, Boxer and Clover, came in together. Clover was a female horse approaching middle life. She had four foals. Boxer was a male horse. He was an enormous beast and as strong as two horses put together. After the horses came Merrill, the white goat, and Benjamin, the donkey. He was the oldest animal on the farm. At the last moment, Molly, who was a foolish, pretty white mare, came. All the animals were present except Moses, the tame raven. When Major found that all the animals were present, he began to talk to them. He told them that uh, before telling them about his dream, they had to think of their life. First, he told them that the animal's life is miserable, laborious, and short. No animal in England is free. The life of an animal is misery and slavery. They work hard, but they aren't repaid by enough food. And when they are useless, they are killed. That's because nearly the whole of the produce of their labor is stolen by human beings. He told them that man is the only real enemy they had. He told them that man is the only creature that consumes without producing. He does not give milk, he does not lay eggs, he is too weak to pull the plow, yet he is the lord of all the animals. So he wanted them to make a rebellion against man. But he didn't know when that rebellion would happen. While Major was speaking, four large uh, rats, who had crept out of their holes to listen to all the Major, hurried to their holes again to save their lives from the dogs. Then they made a vote to know if rats were comrades or not. And it was agreed by an overwhelming majority that rats were comrades. But later they discovered that the dog and the cats voted for both sides. Then all the major told them that they had to remember that whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy and whatever goes upon four legs is a friend. And they had to remember that in fighting against a man, they must not come to resemble him. No animal must ever live in a house or sleep in a bed or wear cloth or drink alcohol or smoke tobacco or touch money or engage in a trade. All the habits of man are evil. And he told them also that all animals are equal. Then he told them about his dream. It was a dream of the earth as it will be when man has vanished. And that dream reminded him of a song which he learned when he was a little pig. The song was called Beasts of England. Then he began to sing the song and the animals also began to sing with him. Even the stupidest animals began to pick up the tune and a few of the words. The uproar awoke Mr. Jones who thought that there was a fox in the yard so he seized his gun and shot into the darkness. So the meeting broke up hurriedly and everyone fled to his own sleeping place. Now let's move to your booklet. First, we are going to talk about the characters in the novel. Mr. Jones, the owner and the operator of the manor farm. Old Major, prize medal white poor and founder of animalism. Blue Pill, Jesse and Pancher, farm dogs. Boxer, a, small, a horse who is the hardest worker on the farm. Clover, a stout motherly mare. Merrill, a white goat. Benjamin, an ill-tempered taciturn donkey who is the oldest animal on the farm. Molly, 
Fallish white mare who pulled John's cart. Mosses, the tame raven, Mr. John's special pet and a spy. That is a summary of chapter one in your booklet. After Mr. Jones locks the hen house for the night and goes to bed, the animals of the manor farm meet in the barn to hear what all the major, the prize medal white poor, has to say. Major identifies man as the cause of all the problems for the animals. It is man alone who consumes without producing. Get rid of man, he says, and the animals will be rich and free. Jones abuses his animals. Old Major predicts that even Boxer will be sold to the knacker to be piled down for glue and dog food. The very day that those great muscles of yours lose their power. He formulates his ideas into what will become the principles of animalism. All men are enemies, all animals are comrades. He warned them never to become like man in their struggle for freedom and equality. Never live in a house, never sleep in a bed, never wear clothes, never drink, smoke, or engage in trade. Above all, all animals are equal, and no animal must tyrannize over his own kind. All the major's dream is of a world without man. He teaches them the revolutionary song, Beasts of England. The meeting breaks up when Jones, awakened by the uproar, fires his shotgun and the animals hurriedly return to their sleeping places. Now let's answer these questions. Why did the animals assemble in the park? Because all the major had a dream and he wanted to communicate it to the animals. Why is man the enemy of the animals? Because man consumes without producing, yet he is the lord of all the animals. He makes the animals do what he can to do and doesn't give them enough food. What is the political statement that emerges from Major's dream? Man is their enemy. He wanted the animals to get rid of man and to make a rebellion against him. What is Major's warning to the animals? He told them that they must remember in fighting a man, they must not come to resemble him. They must not adopt his vices. What are the evil human habits against which Major particularly warned the animals? No animal must ever live in a house, or sleep in a bed, or wear clothes, or drink alcohol or smoke tobacco, or touch money, or engage in trade. How did Major describe the equality of animals? He said that all animals are equal. Which animals learned the song quickly? The pigs and the dogs. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Goodbye.